Well, I know out there, everyone, and hope y'all are doing a lot better than I am. Anyway, uh, I missed doing the uh, Sunday report, so I figured I'd do a Monday report. What about that? Hope y'all good with that, but we've, uh, I had a bad week and then ended the week with a bad week, so it's been a bad week, last week. And this week probably ain't going to be no better, but anyway, to start off with the week, uh, my uncle passed away, boom. I didn't even know he was really that sick, but he died, so we had to uh, kind of take care of that. And then... Uh, Let's see, I think Thursday night my cousin called and said they put his mama in the hospital and I just talked to her maybe four days before that and she was fine. No, no problem, which that's my mama's sister, but I'm, uh, so anyway, my brother, I got, I got a brother, Mark, and he's uh, two years younger than me, he's, he drives a semi-truck and delivers trailer for a local company here. But anyway, he had called me Friday night. I don't know if I want to ride up to Macon, Georgia. That's where my aunt lives. To, uh, you know, to see her and then be with my cousin David because his other head brothers moved up to Pennsylvania. I think, think he's coming home. But anyway, uh, we got up there and and then my mama's sister, which is my aunt, Inez, and oh Lord, that poor woman's in a bad way. She's laying up there in the bed, just uh, completely, pretty much out of her head, and I just don't know what happened. I mean, she, she uh, can't even talk, because I tried to talk to her, and she just hollers, and, ah, and waves her arm, but I don't know, the daughters don't know, they say it in some kind of cellulitis or something like that. But anyway, they got her legs wrapped up because she was retaining water. But when my cousin got there, uh, his daddy's over in the VA uh, nursing home in Milledgeville, Georgia, and he won't know if we won't ride up there and we gonna get his daddy to bring back home to be with uh, his wife, which that's my uncle and my aunt, wanted him at the hospital because he got Alzheimer's and he didn't have, I don't think he knew what was going on. He kept thinking that, that his wife was his mama, I think, because he kept saying that ain't mama because mama died last week, which his mama's been dead for, since about 04 or something like that. But anyway, so anyway, we did that, and then we uh, took him, uh, and I went all day Saturday with not eating or not drinking. I, my brother had a Mountain Dew in the truck, and about 2 o'clock I went out there and I got it. But other than that, we, I ate breakfast at 5 that morning and left, and whew, I'm still tired, folks. Here it is Monday, but then Saturday night we got in a traffic jam after we took my uncle back to his nursing home place and uh, he walks around good he just he uh got all timers he don't know anything i don't not even sure he knew who he was riding with but he had a great time and i was proud to see him out and about and i mean boy he he always liked to ride and go so he enjoyed that he was pointing at every house and place he went by and he'd say there's my house you know and and he was trying to remember where he used to live. All right, well, anyway, when we, we got in a traffic jam and we sat within a block or two or maybe half a block of our pickup truck because we rode up there to Milledgeville with my cousin. They had a concert at the Macon Coliseum, which my aunt's in the Coliseum Park Hospital, which is right behind it. So, huh, my golly. We sat there about two hours. Well, the time we got through and we went to eat out up in Milledgeville after we dropped my uncle off, we went to a place called Longhorn Steakhouse. And 
I reckon it was very good to me, but I reckon anything would have been good at that time. It was around 8 o'clock. I was starved to death. Hadn't eaten nothing all day. But anyway, we waited there, and then and the boys, and my brother's two years younger than me, my cousin David, about three years younger than me. We all about the same. I'm 66, and our parents, my mama lives next door. She's 96 or 97. My aunt that's in the hospital is 93 or 4. My uncle's about 95 or 6. Well, anyway, all my uncles is in their 90s. I've got, uh, I've got, I believe I've only got one left. But I got three, two aunts left. That's right. I got one uncle that I know of. No, I got two uncles left. The one we picked up at the nursing home, and then I got another one. And he couldn't, we wanted him to come up, but he can't because his wife got the darned old timers too. And that's a bad thing. Anyway, I'm going to be doing something with the guitar today that's highly unusual here. And I got a piece of paper on the floor I got to pick up there. But anyway, let me tell you, when I got home Saturday night, it was near about midnight. And I didn't take my keys with me because I was riding with my brother with my wife and fell asleep waiting on me on the couch. Thank goodness it wasn't in the bed or I might not have got in the house. But we blowed the horn and called on his cell phone. That was another thing. The boys talked on the cell phone and text all the way up to Macon, all the way to Millersville and back. And from Macon to Millersville, the roads are like this and like this. And it scared me to death. I told him, I said, let's put these phones down where we drive. I said, I'm, me and Mark, my brother sitting in the back seat, and my uncle up in front, I said, give me your phone. I'm talking to my cousin, the driver. I said, we'll text. You tell us what to say. But I said, you know, because he was driving like this. And I said, thank God I got home. I won't probably go on no trip with them again. Because I don't have a cell phone. And if I did, and when I did, I had one one time. If I was driving and somebody called, I'd pull off to the side of the road and I could find out who it was and call them back. But I don't believe in driving down the road on the telephone. And I know I'm wound up today talking. But I'm going to play and I'm going to show you all a special tuning for your six string guitar today. For all you guitar players out there. And I know everybody's wanting to lap steel stuff. But I'm doing guitar today because we're going to be tuned in a, a baritone tuning. We're going to drop this thing down. But let me tell you what happened when I come in. And finally got my wife to the door. And when I stepped in the house, it was like 99 degrees. And I told her, I said, my God, what in the world's going on? Did you cut the air conditioner off? It's hot. She said, I don't know. She said, I've been sweating all day and it's hot. Well, lo and behold, my air conditioner quit. But it had somebody had a wreck down the road from us and knocked the telephone pole over. And they said, my mama and her told me, the power had been going on and off all day Saturday while I was in Macon. Just let me leave the farm one time, see what, it just falls apart. Anyway, we uh, got up Sunday morning, which was yesterday, and wow, it was hot. I, and we went outside, I said, let's go outside and cool off, and there wasn't no, it was hot outside, hot in here. So I called the air conditioner man, and he come out, and, he uh, said with that power blinking on and off, it had shorted out my thermostat and killed it because it was computer operated. And he put me one on, holy smoke, that was $200 for him coming out on Sunday. But anyway, we got the air back on. We slept pretty good last night. Right now I'm back here in my music room. It's right cool. And we got clouds and look like it might rain. All right, let's go to the guitar part now. I'm going to be playing a song for you and I got the camera kind of close where you can see the neck of the guitar and tell what I'm doing but I got it. I'm going to play a G but it ain't going to be a G because we're going to tune down. Listen to this though.
to this tuning, and I love to get back here.
it is. And I ride it right across here if y'all want to try it. It's a fun tuning. My guitar is... It automatically tunes because it's got a rolling pickup in it. But anyway, the first top string of the big fat one is a B. Then it's an E. Then an A. Then a D. And then an F sharp. Alright, and then the last string, it goes back to another B. So there you go. Away. That's a guaranteed fact of life, and then the day you stop knowing of anybody passing away, it was probably your turn, so. troubling to put it down. It's just the more I play, the more I enjoy it. Get on out of here. We got 
some uh, good uh, sausage dogs we're cooking for dinner today, so I'm looking forward to them. These are uh, what I call fresh smoked sausage from our local Piggly Wiggly grocery store up here, or Hoggly Woggly, whichever one y'all got. Some of y'all have the Piggly Wiggly. Some of them got the big store called the Hoggly Woggly. The one we got is just a small one called the Piggly Wiggly. But we doggy, they got the best meats in town. Y'all see you later. Take care, and we'll see you for the Hump Day Report.